Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying tonight? Yes, Trish is dying tonight. I am. Yay. Hello everybody, how are you today? Hello. Still chilly. Anyway, enough of the chilliness and all of that. I love your jacket, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you so and much. Very super cool. Thank you. Oh. And didn't we rock the parties last night? We did. Yeah. I've still got my armband on. Oh no, I took mine off before, I yeah. I took oh, mine on. It's got that? skulls on it. Yes. Um, yeah, we had a fun night. We did have a fun night last night. Yeah. Rocking at a local, a local venue. Venue with a, a cool band. Yeah, it was a cool band. Yeah, I think we should plug the band's name, shouldn't we? Or yeah. Should we? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to oh, see if you knew. Too many. It was called Aussie Pride. That's right. Was the band. Yeah. And uh, they were really great. They and were um, somebody may have. Yes, Trish got on stage and played an instrument. Because <laughs> Trish wants to make a band and was play instruments. It was, it was fun. We had a good night. And uh, hello to everybody for you watching us from yeah. there. It was a really good night. Thanks. It was a really good good night. We rocked it. We did. It was fun. They rocked it. Yeah, they did. Rock okay. It. Yeah. Today, Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. Kim has asked a question. And I've just taken my glasses off, so now I have to put them back on. To read the question. To read the question. Some and Kim's words. question is, has anyone ever exploded from gas build-up and not being embalmed? Um, what is better for an unembalmed body, an airtight seal on a casket or one that isn't sealed? When I die, I won't be embalmed, so I don't want to explode in my coffin from gas build-up. So I need the info so okay. as not to explode in my coffin. Right. This is a concern, Kim. This is a concern, Kim. We <laughs> don't want you to explode anyway. Nobody wants to explode. Yeah, uh, anytime. So, yeah. Have you ever seen a body explode? Never. Right. So is it safe to say they don't? They don't. Unless they're blown up. Yeah, unless they're blown up on purpose. But no, they don't. They don't. Um, like I've said before, most of the bodies I prepare are not embalmed. They are not aspirated neither, which is what we're talking about, the gas buildup. Now, a natural part of decomposition is gas buildup and fluid buildup, and that will happen if you put a body in. We didn't touch it. It'll go through the processes of decomposition where gases will build up. But what happens is, eventually, the gases will just leak from, you know, any openings that is there on the body, you know, your natural openings through your nose, your mouth, your bum, in all them areas down there. And just, it will just eventually... Dissipate. Yeah, it'll just slowly, slowly go down. So you never, ever explode because we... We're are, not sealed. Yeah, we're not sealed anyway. So <laughs> gas and air leaks out from all over the place. So once we've gone through that stage of where we, we bloat, it starts to then just naturally come back down. As you know, we've talked about before, if you put a rotten fruit in, you'll see it, it'll, it'll expand a bit and then eventually it just shrivels back down. So that's exactly what we'll do. So you would not explode in your coffin. So the reason why you don't let that natural process just happen, why do you aspirate? Why, why don't well, you just let that happen? Well, most of the time um, when I do a, a preparation, I can get a, a deceased out of the fridge and there's nothing, you know, that they looked like they did the day they died, there's nothing. So I won't even aspirate because there's nothing, mm. there's nothing happening. And that service is going to be happening within the next day or two mm. or the next day and they're going to be cremated or buried. But it takes a while for the process yeah, to happen. Yeah, and it does take a long, long time. So if they're cremated, one, it's not going to happen because you won't go through the process of decomposition. If you're going to be buried, you will go through your uh, stages of decomposition. But also when you're buried, coffins aren't sit airtight at all. No coffins or caskets are that I know of, unless you're in a sealed bag, which is different. That's when you're in an above ground vault and you are in a sealed bag. But you have to be embalmed for them, so you won't do that natural decomposition. You'll mummify. So in a the ground where you're buried it's not a sealed coffin you will probably go through that process but you may not even go through the bloating process because the insects are already going to be at you and start eating away at you so you could be eaten away by insects you know flies could even got in and you know the, the natural breakdown is 
that you might not even things we talk do. about. Yeah, <laughs> but you you you're not going to explore. You won't explode. It's you definitely right. won't explode. No exploding Kims. I have never ever heard about it or seen it or know anybody that's had a body that's explored. I think maybe it's come from tales or you know this stuff and I don't know folklore. Maybe, it's, but mm. I have never never seen it or. Good to know. Anywhere. Well, it is good to know. So just relax, Kim. No need to be embalmed. <laughs> there's no need to be embalmed and there's no need to worry about that. And um, yeah, but let's hope that's not going to happen for a very long time to anybody. So yeah, cool. Thanks Good for one. that, Trace. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks again. Yep. Until next time. Yes, like, subscribe and share. Bye. Bye. Bye.